Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dan, Dan the Fireman. I'm putting my, my audio, my Tascam DR5 in my pocket. Bear with me, bear with me. If you're brand new to this and you're trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing, well, I do moto vlogs. I do motorcycle videos and I like to do little motorcycle adventures called Saturday Scrambles. There's another guy here. His name is the guy from Yuma. He's another moto vlogger and he likes to do some really cool stuff. And he was riding a Z125, a Kawasaki Z125. He started off in this location and he took off underneath this bridge over here. You'll see it when I start taking off. He went on a little adventure following the train tracks. Now he basically did a little scramble himself and I want to go ahead and do it myself. I'm going to copy him. I'm going to go ahead and go the exact route he went, maybe a little further. Go ahead and go to his channel, throw a like, comment, share, subscribe. Hey, it's a little puppy. No, oh, it doesn't like me. Oh, oh this is cool. Hmm, which way should I go? Now I'm not going to go on the actual train tracks, there was a train just going by, so I'm kind of stuck with having to go back onto the road. That kind of blows. Well, that was fun guys, nice Saturday scramble right there. I'll see you guys later. This is fun. And I have no idea how he did this on the Z125. When he did it, there's some people out here and he's a little worried. So the secret for me today is if I see anybody, I'm just gonna gun it. I'm gonna get out of here. It is beautiful out, guys. You have no idea. When I did my very first Saturday scramble, it was miserable and hot. But today, it's got to be like 70 something degrees. It is so nice out. Oh, oh, it's really soft. How do you do this? Oh, I think I could sit down. Ooh, maybe not, maybe not. My back end starts flailing around. Let's continue along here. <laughs> oh, that is just something new, guys, for me. Riding road, feeling a back tire slip and slide around. That does not feel good. Something new, it's just something new. Okay, so I, I, I kind of have an idea of where I'm at. Oh. Oh. But, little well, cottontail. So I gotta go around. Where the heck's all this traffic coming from? All right, let's get back on this dirt road. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so soft. Oh my gosh, guys. I almost ate shit. How did he make this with street tires? Holy shit. Oh, I mean, it's a lighter bike and all, but oh crap, this is really soft right here. I forgot how rocky this crap was. All right, so we're still on the we're still next to the train tracks, guys. We are still next to the train tracks. Whoa, that is soft. Okay. Oh man, it got softer since last time I was here with this thing. Whoa. This whole video is gonna be like, oh man, it's so soft. I am getting a forearm workout, guys. So I went down there guys, I went down there, I got some footage and I didn't think it looked very good because I'm all by myself <laughs> and you really want to go down there when you have like a bunch of people, like you got like quads, Woo! let's keep going, oh I can't stop guys, I cannot stop, if I stop I am stuck, oh my gosh. <laughs> I caught a little bit of air on that. Oh man, almost done. Let's take a break. Woo. Baby held up. That was interesting. Let's see what else we can do. I had to take a little break. My hands <laughs> had a death grip on these things, man. My hands were done. As you can tell, I don't do that very often. Now I can't follow those train tracks because I see some people over there and I know Union Pacific is pretty pretty big on not being near the tracks. Oh, 
Oh, there's so many like roads. I don't want to. Oh, where does that go? Oh, you're soft. You're soft. Where does this go? Where does this go? Ah, shit, he's not gonna let me pass. Hey! How you doing? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. No, you're not supposed to be back. Am I not? Oh, okay. So just turn around. Yeah, I'm riding a Harley. I put some. It's it's got dirt bike tires on it. Oh. Okay. Or uh, dual sport tires. Oh, same kind of same thing. Oh, is it does it get softer that way? Uh, no, you should be flat all the way to Fortuna. To Fortuna? Yeah. Okay, I'll get out of here. I didn't. We just don't want nobody in here because you know we got some great cars and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Once he realized this was a Harley. <laughs> oh wow, this is actually pretty damn hard pack. I think I know where I'm at. I think this is actually a uh, Fortuna. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. See, what I was expecting is that. I was expecting to be on that if I followed the tracks, but nope. Nice and easy hard pack. Now, Betty's Kitchen is that way. That was where I almost stepped on the snake. I pulled out this way to, uh, oh shit, this is soft. One second, guys. Oh yeah, make sure there's no cars. And I am done. This was more of a, look what Yuma is. It's like, you got your town, okay? You have the normal town, but then the moment you get off road, you can find so much random shit. Just so much random shit. A lot of it involves being on the dirt. So having these dirt tires, these dual sport tires, um, being a scrambler, it, it makes such a huge difference, huge difference for, for me because now I can go exploring, I can go do that. Normally I just stick to the roads. Tell me what you think, tell me if I'm improving, tell me if I'm getting worse, but make sure you share, subscribe, like, and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys later, you guys be safe.